So you're talking about a wart that talks to a kid and tells them what to do? Do you remember? You, you don't remember? <laughs> no, that? actually, I don't remember. That. It's a boil, Josh. It's a boil. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> For Josh Smith to be on the podcast. Hey. Welcome to the Weekly Peel. Yes. I'm Peter. I'm John. And this is our guest, Josh Smith, hey, hey. finally yes. making his appearance. I'm so Josh. happy to be here. I feel honored. Last time I was on was a live stream, and that was amazing. So I'm glad to be on yes. another podcast. So I have a question. Have you heard my my verbal assaults to you since since not coming on and yeah, making this twice? I did. I listened to both episodes. I was driving. I was like, we have trashed oh. you on consecutive episodes. I, I would like to formally apologize and to let you know oh. that was just a joke because I love oh, you, Josh. Thank you. You're an amazing guy. I appreciate guy. that. I shed a couple <laughs> tears sure. while I was driving, listening to it. <laughs> he's like, he's like I, th- I thought John was my friend. <laughs> but I knew you meant it out of love. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It was it's like it's like a swift kick in the pants out of love, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> just verbally. Yeah, a verbal kick <laughs> in the pants. No. No, I'm glad that you're here, Josh. It's it's been a long time coming. Oh, thank yes. you. And I'm glad that we got it in cuz there's some exciting stuff coming up in your life. Yes. Yes. Someone is getting married. Woo-hoo! Yes. And it's not me or John. No, it's not. <laughs> it's me. It's Josh's sister. No. Oh, oh, no. Josh. 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 Surprise. <laughs> Josh, you're getting married. Yes. I actually know like two other people getting married today, and I was like gonna mention. <laughs> oh my gosh. The same day. Yeah, I literally know. If... Love is in the wait, air. Yeah. Same wait. Day. All oh wait. They're all. You know, three weddings on the same day. Two weddings. Oh, two weddings. Mm. Okay. It's a good yeah, day. Well, that's kind of. April twenty ninth, gang. To? <laughs> yeah. yeah same put on, your calendar. put on your calendar we'll go to that wow. one yeah so peelers um we'll go we'll send out the address <laughs> we want you to show up to support josh yeah we we, we always release episodes on friday april 29th Ooh. oh come that's, on that's our second live yeah, live you know, show at the oh wedding, at the wedding. <laughs> we'll be you know how like in the nfl they have those like commentators at the desk in front of the oh, field dude. like it'll be us like with the wedding it, in the background it'll be it'll be like the royal weddings and they're like and here comes in the uh the, the prince of wales <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here comes a, Josh Swede suit. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, oh, Gary Smith, the father of the groom. <laughs> oh, wow, little claps. Wow. Yes, yes. So, Josh, um, you know, I, I was thinking that we should we should record an episode, um, like like the night before your wedding and drop mm. it. Just ask, you know, just just ask all the deep questions. You know, how scared are you right now? Are you going to back out? <laughs> just a little time capsule for yeah, you. Oh, okay. yeah, That'd you. Yeah, okay. That'd be sweet. Yeah. It's not like, I would we're not like nothing it. more than that. <laughs> Dude, like, hold my, everything the going deepest on. feelings on the weekly peel literally would, would, would be a gem. Wow. Mm. Yes. No, well, we're excited like for your wedding. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a, a fantastic time, Josh. Why why didn't you ask either of us to be in it? <laughs> <I'm just kidding>. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, first of all, you both are. I know. <laughs> yeah. we, we like to get right into it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. that's good. No time to waste. Time is money. Yeah, juicy yeah. Time topics. is money. What was that? Well, the juicy topics. Oh yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. we well, got a good one today. Guys. Oh That's yes, true. we do. This is gonna be a good one. We're we're drafting our favorite villains. But before we get into that, you know, guys, I, I wanted. Well, well, also welcome back, Peter. You weren't here last week. Um, people Thank took you. our joke way too seriously. They thought the peel was legitimately ending. Oh, it was great. I love the panic yes. that it, it warmed my heart that people were yeah. worried about. I know it, one you know? one per one person said that if we did if we canceled the peel, they'd drown themselves in their toilet. Oh my god, that was the most heartwarming. <laughs> that, was, that was the most heartwarming message. While a little seen. extreme, it felt good. Yeah, yeah you know. It's just <laughs> Just like terrifying. to have that, to have that power over it. <laughs> I know, yeah. But no, Amaris killed it last week. She's she's an amazing guest, honestly. Yeah. Part of me is kind of scared that she's gonna start her own podcast because then we're, yeah. we're we're sunk. I know, I know. She's <laughs> she's she's just. I have. That's why I don't have her on here often because I just you know I don't want the fame to get to. Don't her want it to overshadow she's, us. She's too good. And, yeah, she's yeah. too good. She's a, she's yeah. a she's got she's like a, a hidden gem and and I want to keep her hidden because you know. I, uh, she yeah. better than me. <laughs> I totally get it. I mean, <laughs> but uh, my so not to toot my own horn, but my my birthday is coming up, guys. Whoa! Uh, and, <laughs> and recently, two of my good friends 
John Chevry and John Maziot got me something out of the blue. I opened up something from my P.O. box. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I have a P.O. box. And inside <laughs> it was stuffed and rolled up a shirt for my birthday yes. that I, I did not expect. And if you're on YouTube, I'll just I'll kind of show, show it off a little bit oh, here. Oh, the Prince of Egypt. The Prince of meme Egypt. <laughs> right it's well, the it, yes it is from that but it's, it's a prince of egypt it shirt. just says prince of egypt so is yes. it actual merch from that instagram account it is it is there's okay. a, actually if you want to go follow something funny there's the prince of meme Egypt. it's a good funny christian so queen account um yeah it's very very good um but we uh Chevrolet and i who will be back in a couple weeks probably hopefully uh if he's still alive and um <laughs> he is just kidding and uh <laughs> Yeah, we we like hatched an idea because I think you've brought up the uh, Prince of Egypt probably like three times on the podcast wow. and more times, yeah, more times just in our personal lives. So we were like, we should get him a Prince of Egypt shirt. Now the problem is that that movie came out like twenty five years ago. <laughs> so finding merch for a twenty, well, it's I think it's like twenty three, twenty three, twenty three years. Okay, geez, fact check me. Um, and <laughs> you get on your own case about it. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I couldn't live with myself lying to the peers. And yeah, so we 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 searched far and wide, and we found finally that the Prince of Meme had merch that had the Prince of Egypt stuff on it. And we were nice. like, here we go. That's a so, great shirt. You know, it's got the logo, and he's uh. What's his name? Joseph. <laughs> Moses. Moses. <laughs> That's wrong. Joseph. <laughs> Moses. He's there, like doing a cool little pose, and he's holding a bag of what I think Me- is supposed to be like money, but it just says memes. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Super random. I he's didn't wearing know that sunglasses too, right? Yeah, he is. That's and also, thank you for sunglasses. wearing that today. This is the you first time I'm seeing you wear it. Finally. Yeah, Ooh. they were a little ticked that I didn't like try it on immediately and send yeah. over pictures, but. You know. <laughs> yeah. We wasted our money. We're gonna we're gonna request a refund from you. I know. So, <laughs> which no, is why I, I my favorite villain of all time. Uh, I'm just gonna get right into the draft. Is Pharaoh from the Prince of Egypt? <laughs> Ooh, <Yeah>. That's good. <laughs> defend yeah, that. Yeah, he's just. I mean, wow. What? I mean, he could take on anybody. I mean, Thanos. <laughs> no, nothing. You know. Come on, man. <laughs> nothing on Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a pretty big week. Um, so not only did we get to, you know, the hi- I mean, highlight of it, of course, was sending Peter that shirt. Mm. You know? um, Thank you. Thank we, you. Uh, yeah, yeah you're, you're welcome. Um, uh, this week I had, uh, well, actually, let me, let, me, let me just say this first. Um, today is actually a really awesome day. I don't really get too serious on the peel. Obviously, that's not what we're here for. But my mm. dad um, got his trach out. Uh, he's had him for two years. Wow. Um, he had throat cancer two years ago, and he finally got his trach out, and it's went really well. So just shout out to Dude. you, Dad. Really, really Way happy go, for Dad. this. Come on. But also, now the actual highlight of my week, because that's like you know, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but um, no, but wow. so, so we were at a party for uh, Mary. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, we were at a party for um for my my wife's work, and there's a guy there, um who I'm 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 gonna keep his identity a secret. Um, he's an, he's a, he's like a middle-aged guy, um, somebody that, that, you know, we've known and stuff. And I've heard this story that this guy, um, he lived in Malaysia for a while and he, um, was at an event where there were like, like literally like ambassadors to like Malaysia from other countries and all these famous people. And it was like a, it was a promo, like, like event for like this, like watch company. And the spokesman was Pierce Brosnan. You know who that is? You guys uh, familiar? James Bond. From the 90s? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, yes, so yes. this guy uh, went up to him and just came up with this idea. And he was like, hey, uh, do you want to thumb wrestle? <laughs> so he asked James Bond to thumb wrestle. And and he was like, sure, absolutely. And he won. He apparently has ginormous hands. Well, I, this week at a party, got to thumb wrestle the thumb that thumb wrestled James Bond. So I got what? to thumb wrestle the guy that thumb wrestled Who won? James Bond this week. Uh, he did. <laughs> uh, yeah. So like, so and he he was and he was like, if he's like, he's and he told me he's like, good luck with Pierce. He's like, because his thumbs are like tree trunks. <laughs> that's, that's what he said. So that's that incredible. was amazing. It was wow. a very yeah. Um, Amaris really like she actually set it up. She was like, listen, I want to give my husband the story that he thumb wrestled, the thumb, the thumb wrestled, <laughs> James Bond. That's amazing. That's insane. I love yes. that. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> so yes. Had to had to had to throw that out there. Wow, my, my thumbs have tasted glory. <laughs> <laughs> and defeat. And defeat. And defeat. And defeat. Yes. Oh man. 
That's amazing. Oh, I'm proud of you, John. I'm very Thank proud you. of you. Um, Thank you. I hope you represented the Peel. And, yeah, um, I, I did it for loss. the Peel. That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish I wouldn't have mentioned the Peel after I lost. You know, it's kind of like, uh, but you know, it's okay. No, I. Didn't. You should get him on as a guest. <laughs> Hit, oh, or just his thumb. Yeah, it's just, it's just his thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a little face on him. And... <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. So how's how's your life right now, Josh? Are you, are you mm. nervous, excited, all of the above? Mm. Busy. I busy. Yes, that's yeah. that's a good word. Place said misty. <laughs> no, not like, misty. What? <laughs> no, busy, and but excited, and I think mm. just uh, seeing all the pieces coming together, but it's also a lot of moving pieces as their details are starting to fall on top of each other, and yeah. overall just. I just can't wait till the 29th. I'm looking forward to yes to marrying the love of my life. Oh, yeah, I'm so I'm just excited. Who to... shall rename nameless? <laughs> <laughs> no, her name is she Skyler. Like the She's amazing. She'll probably listen to this soon. So you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yes. She's, she'll be our you know our peel guest in training. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. You know, one day we should we should have all of our well, Josh, you're soon to be all of our wives come on or even come on in place of us. Yes. Mm-hmm. See what happens. Or we just Maybe. all come on and then we the three of us just talk over them the whole time. Every time they tell a story, hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> hold on, baby, let me tell that one. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, 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 hold on. You forgot this part, and then just take over the entire story. I mean, <laughs> yeah. That, that, I don't think that would go over very I well. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maz, what is our? Uh, oh, you were gonna. Oh, I was gonna ask. I was, I was gonna say, Josh. So, mm-hmm. where where are you going for for your honeymoon? Oh, going to the beautiful country of the Dominican Republic. Are you? Mm. I didn't know. That. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, gonna go to the DR. <laughs> And we had a good friend who told us about it, showed us what's a, the great place to stay and to, to go for a honeymoon. So we're doing it, and we're super pumped. I think it's going to be an amazing week, an amazing yeah, awesome. week. It's like a resort type of deal. Mm-hmm. Week. Yeah. Sweet. Would you mind podcasting with us that week, just out of curiosity? Yeah, yeah I, I can. We need I can a guest call in. in. Yeah. 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 We'll do a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be on the beach. So, so much downtime, yes. Yeah, so much yes. downtime. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Are we ready to hop into our topic? Oh, let's be ready. All right. Peter, why don't you introduce it? Well, today is the long-awaited talk, discussion, debate over who is the greatest movie villain of all mm. time. This is There's a such, clear winner. There's it's such a big debate. God. Um, <laughs> no, no. So we each have three different picks. Maz and I chose our own picks, and then we chose Josh's for him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens like when you're junior host. We, that's right. That's <laughs> yeah. Right. Bro, so we, yeah. we we told Josh the idea, and we we're like, and we want you to defend this person. And uh, yeah, so. so he's gonna he's gonna be def- uh, defending <clears throat> Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <as the best. laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, swiper, no, like swiper from uh, no swiping. Oh, you know, infamous, from, uh, from yeah. Dora. infamous. Yeah, that's who we gave him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just cutthroat. <laughs> Josh, well, why don't? Why, oh, go ahead, Peter. No, I, I, you go ahead. Okay, I was gonna say, Josh, why don't? Why don't you go first? Why don't you tell us your pick mm. and why? Me go first. Okay, so yes. my pick was given to me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I have a question. Did we actually give that to you? I think so, but I think it's because you guys know I love Star Wars. So okay, would you have picked it? Honestly, I would have. Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. good. Okay. So <laughs> that that makes me feel better about it. <laughs> no, I my did not pick this. is Emperor Palpatine, Darth Sidious from the Star Wars mm. saga. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I thought you were gonna wow. say Watto. <laughs> Phantom Menace. <laughs> Phantom Menace first episode. Bro, dude, he honestly, was the Phantom Menace. He was bad. Wanga. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you want to talk about a bad dude? It's him. Dude, dude he's terrible, you. man. He's... <laughs> ah, Nubian. Uh. <laughs> That's really good. 
<laughs> he does. Yeah, I I don't remember anything he said at all. I just remember his disgusting Gonzo nose, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> so I'm glad that you remembered Peter because I had nothing to add to that. Yeah, it's like, okay. The nose is the villain. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's like anyway. the boy. It's like the boil on that kid from Fairly Odd Parents that tells him what to do. Oh, you guys, oh, oh, gross. oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta say, have you guys seen that? I don't know what's going on with Paramount Plus. Um, it's terrible. They rebooted uh, Fairly Odd Parents or made like a sequel series. What? It's a live action, low no, budget what? sitcom that looks like doo doo. I mean, like it literally looks like they're me? shooting it with a potato. It's terrible, and it's and. Cosmo and Wanda are just like they're the same animation and they just pop up and like it it, it is it is garbage like I cannot express I watched an eight minute clip of it and I wanted to like claw my eyes out and jump off a building like it was that's <laughs> oh my God. But, but it was, that's it was yeah, are you looking it up Peter this is gross dude, I'm looking it dude, up okay and also why can't and Nickelodeon or Paramount whatever you want to call it they have just I don't know what in the world they did with all their cameras that mm. they shot like iCarly and Drake and Josh with because they traded them in for some garbage cameras and garbage quality shows and they've stuck mm. with it and now they're bringing it to Fairly Odd Parents. It's so, so sad. It looks yeah. worse than when Drake Bell was like being Timmy in that Dude, live it was, action. Dude, it's 100% worse. <laughs> it I didn't so think it, worse. I didn't think it could get worse, but it did. So wow. just anyway, that went off subject mm. a little bit. So the real the the real villain is Paramount. That's, you know. <laughs> That's what <laughs> right, go, say. go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, oh, Josh. Man. So you're talking about a wart that talks to a kid and tells him what to do. Do you remember? You you don't remember? <laughs> no, that? actually, I don't remember. <laughs> that. It's a boil, Josh. It's a boil. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you like put a hat I changed on my villain. One. That's my that? villain. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, get that off my TV. <laughs> well, I chose Emperor Palpatine because he is the master uh, at manipulation and deception. Mm. Mm. He spent years upon years upon years in the middle of the Republic Senate. And he moved all the pieces, manipulated all the pieces, all to lead Anakin to his demise and the destruction of an entire republic. You know, he wasn't just he wasn't fighting just in in the 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 might of his strength and like the powers that he has, but he was fighting with his mind in the manipulation of our entire wow. political system. So I would just say Wait, the manipulation I, I, unbelievable. Did you say our did you say our political system? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, like, well, I just got so invested in this world. <laughs> <laughs> but you see like that's why i chose yeah. him because that would be my wow. first point because he is master of manipulation deception mm. and not only that but he's like insanely powerful with the dark side of the force all the abilities Ooh. that he can use yeah mm. that's so mm. good you know while you were saying that though i was thinking i'm like man i wonder like if there was anybody like in our government right now that could be like planning this and i just thought <laughs> based Ted on looks Cruz. Of- <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Based on looks alone, that's a good one. Based on looks alone, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> looks alone. <laughs> Dude, because I, I started thinking, I'm like, you know, I could, or like, actually Joe Biden kind of looks more like, like Emperor Palpatine, but like one of those guys, I could see it. Mm. I could see it one day. But Ted Cruz, <laughs> Ted Cruz, definitely. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, I love yeah, that. I, I like about that. Palpatine that's is just like, he he did play the long game like mm-hmm. no Dude, other villain. Bro, did. I, I, I got to gotta give him the respect. Mm. This man was in it for years. Yeah. Dude. Like, mm. yeah. I wonder how long he was actually in the Senate before, before like he became chancellor. Uh, I think yeah. he was. Uh, like when... I don't know the exact amount of years, but he, he. I think he represented Naboo for a long time. He did, yeah. And so he wasn't even like in the top, like a chancellor or anything. He started from the oh. bottom. He just started working his way up to the wow. chain of command. He's a self, he's a, he's a self-made emperor. <clears throat> so that's impressive. I'm just kind of thinking about this now. Like, when did this become? his plan because Anakin Dude. wasn't like he didn't like know about yeah. Anakin before he started this whole like yeah. I'm gonna be a senator thing right but maybe maybe he just like maybe he just started off with good intentions like <laughs> yeah you know I'd really like to do this and then all of a sudden he started dabbling with the dark sign you know started getting into some some, some, some dark crap you know yeah all senators start out 
you know. <laughs> and then, good intentions. Yeah, this is this is really yeah. just a, like a PSA for all you senators out there. Be beware, you know. Yeah. Dark be, side like, wants to, yeah, don't. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> please, please. But don't. honestly, <laughs> if, if Anakin had never like popped into the plan for him, I wonder like what would have happened. Yeah. Well, I saw you something. Know? I think in, I think in the Darth Vader graphic novel. There's a scene on there. There we go. Wait, that's watch this. <laughs> There's a scene in there that's like highly like alluding to the fact that Palpatine through the dark side wanted to fulfill the prophecy of the chosen one. And mm. and he through the power of the force like manipulated <laughs> like his Anakin's mom to actually bear that child without a father. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. He did that? So that's like, there's an allusion to it. Ooh. It doesn't go deep wow. into it. So we'll see if it goes, if any of the other stuff will go into it. But there's like the belief that Palpatine actually manipulated the Force to create Anakin. Yeah. So, so is Palpatine his father? Technically. Is that what I'm technically... And in the original scripts whoa. for Revenge of the Sith, that was going to be his motivation to join the dark side, was the revelation that he's his father. Ooh. So wait 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 wait. So if he's Dude, Anakin's my mind father, is blown right now. And then f- fifty years later, Ray and Kylo get together. Yo, no. Oh, oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't oh, know crap. about this. Crap, crap, crap. Wait, 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 wait. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Let's flush this out. <laughs> I know we should probably back off this, but let's just think about it for a second. So Palpatine is Anakin's father. Okay. Supposedly, yeah. that was kind of on the original script. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. All right, this is the conspiracy. This is the conspiracy theory. So then, so then that means that Anakin was Luke's father. Of course, we know. Right. That. So, mm. Granddaddy <clears throat> Emperor. That's what we're talking. That's what we're dealing with now. Mm. So that makes, and if Ray is his granddaughter, <laughs> so that makes, they're co- so Luke and Ray are cousins. Cousins. Tw- once re- no. twice removed no. once removed no what does because, that mean no they're cu- <laughs> who's getting <laughs> no, removed anakin <laughs> removed is like down no, a wait, generation because oh, because okay. anakin's brother is technically <laughs> ray's father if speaking in this right so then they would be first cousins so then that means ray and ben are second cousins yeah, so that's sense. what okay. I just said. Oh, I thought you meant Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean Luke. Ah! I you meant All Luke. right, I'm yeah. sorry I brought it up now. <laughs> no, no, it's true. I mean, so that's the that's the theory. So he yeah. was playing the long game, and he even had the power to manipulate the Force to create life. Wow. Which is what he was alluding that his master taught him. That then he told Anakin, like, I know how okay, to save so your then- life. So then, who's Jar Jar's father? <laughs> <laughs> that remains a mystery. Watto. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it goes so deep. It's oh, all that connected. Was a, that was a pretty good defense. Mm, thank you. I, yeah. Go ahead, Peter. Well, um, I would like to um, talk about my boy, Thanos. Dude, Oof, let me just so... say, that is such a fluff pick, bro. <clears throat> Fluff pick. Yes, it is. Fluff you know, pick. You were just trying to get votes. I'm gonna I mute. You. Mute. I'm gonna hit John's little mute button for a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got all the power over here, buddy. I'm gonna be edit. Well, actually, you're gonna be doing the final edit. Dang it. Yeah. So, Thanos. My my thesis. Thanos is the best villain ever to appear on screen due to his clear motivation, very real threat, mm. and the and sympathy Jen. he creates in every viewer. The sympathy. So Thanos, like, I think he kind of wins everybody over in Infinity War. Mm. Like, this man, from the beginning, you see him, like, he just wrecked, like, Loki, Heimdall, Thor, all these Asgardians, and the Hulk. And you're like, oh, crap, this guy is, he's not playing around. Mm. So right off the bat, you're like, oh, my gosh, he's a very real threat. And then you find out about the whole, like, destroy half the universe thing, kill half the universe but as the story goes on, like you begin to understand why he's doing it, and none of us want to admit it, but part of us, like you know, we understand oh. like where he's coming from, the, you know. And, and mm. also, none of us want to admit it, but Eternals made him the hero. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you've seen the Eternals. Eternals. Let's just leave yes. that mess yeah. out of there. <laughs> yeah, we, that's the most we're ever going to talk about Eternals on this podcast. <laughs> Done. Two seconds. But, 
I'll, I mean, I think you would probably agree. Thanos, he steals every scene that he's in. Mm-hmm. Every scene that he's in, you're like, well, dang. I, like, I mean, he is a giant, bald-headed Bruce Willis purple guy with a huge chin. So, I mean, it's kind of hard, to, hard to, miss. to compete but, with. It. Yeah, hard to miss him. In looking back, like, you kind of have to say that in the movie with, like, a million heroes and Thanos, like, Thanos is kind of, like, the main character mm-hmm. of Infinity War. Oh, yeah. He really huh. is. Yeah, except his except here's his flaw. His brother is Harry Styles. I, I can't I can't I can't talk about Eternals. Wait, I can't, I can't, what? I can't, what did I miss? He, he, oh, yeah. In Eternals, you find yeah. out his brother is Harry Styles. It you didn't miss sense. anything. No. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Sorry, this is girl. very sad. All right, I'm gonna just gonna real quick read off some Thanos quotes for you. Oh man. Mm. Think how quotable is everything he says is like a meme or a quote of something. Like every line. <laughs> Reality is often disappointing. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Oh, I should do his voice. Perfectly I'm sorry. Balanced as all things should be. I'm sorry, little one. Wow. A small price to pay for salvation. This does put a smile on my face. <laughs> Peter, I would and like more. I, I would like you to <laughs> recite all of his lines and just put it like with some music so I can fall asleep to it. I, I did think. the Avengers audiobook. <laughs> 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 Dude, yeah, I got I got more to say, you know, defending later on, but that's yeah. that's kind of where I'm. I'll leave it for now. Yeah. All right. Well, obviously we're saving the best for last, so thank you, gentlemen, for realizing that. Even though I asked you both to go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I I'm going I'm going to tell you that this man is the villain of all time. I'm going with William Defoe's Green Goblin. Right. I mean, not necessarily just William Defoe's, but that's the one I, you know, everyone's mind goes to. But Green Goblin, just in general, is the ultimate bad guy. I mm. mean, like there is. I don't think, like, I think aside from maybe like the Joker, there's nobody more iconic in in like comic book history. You know, this guy has been around forever. He's the arch nemesis of Spider-Man, one of the biggest heroes of all time. And I would say this dude is the is just insane. He's strong. He's got Captain America strength. We forget this. So he's got like he's got a completely broken mind. So he's just he's willing to do anything. If you read the comics, I'm not gonna go into it, but if you read the comics, Green Goblin has done some like ridiculous things. Like things that would make you just like like it's like bone chilling, some of the stuff stuff that he's done. Oh wow! Right, so think about it. But then he lives his double life, so he's got that going. So he's like, he can manipulate a little bit. He can, you know, because he he's still like got, he can keep his composure when he needs to. Yep. He, dude, he's just bad to the absolute bone. I mean, when you think about, you know, it, the the first Spider Man movie, think about like how many people he ends up like like killing, like just right off the bat, they they graze over it. But this dude's just like massacring everybody. Right, it sounds really bad. Right, wow. he, he no, no, think, about, think about the mental games he plays with Aunt May, like when he busts in her house. If you look at, like the first movie he's in, think about the mental game he plays again with Aunt May in the, in the newest yeah, one. Thing or, no, Aunt May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but no, but think about like like he he hits all like like the mental thing. Like he's terrifying. Like he plays mental games. He can he can pro- I I would say he could hold his own with almost any superhero or supervillain in in marvel like hands down he wow. can hold his own i would say because think about it, if he's got captain america strength and if you look at like thanos somebody like really strong captain america even was able to go toe-to-toe a little bit with thanos and you have that same power in green goblin right so he's got the same kind of strength and and like he just he manipulates everything he's moving behind the scenes he's doing a lot of things like i think he takes every characteristic of a good villain and that's just like that's just who he is. I don't mm. think it gets any better than, than Green <clears throat> Goblin, especially Willem Dafoe playing. Will, Willem Dafoe playing him. Did you feel that way before No Way Home? Yes. Wow. I I honestly because okay, when did you guys first watch the like the Spider Man one? Like with like oh. probably just like a few years ago, honestly. Oh, oh, pff, oh wait, the okay. very first one. <laughs> I, I didn't. Yes. I didn't really grow up with it. Oh dang! I saw it when I was a kid. It freaked okay, me gosh, out. Did he? Sc- I was gonna say, dude, dude he, he freaked you? me out as a kid. I dude, was like, what the he's heck? He's so <laughs> terrifying. And I have one thing I'm gonna leave for the closing argument that's gonna blow you all out of the water. Oh wow! <laughs> but <laughs> yes, but I, that's where I'll, I'll uh, and I'll, I'll stop my my case for him. Mm. 
Wowza. Wow. Wowza. We got some good opening arguments here. Um, we got the Emperor himself, Shiv, Palpatine, uh, Thanos, and the Green Goblin. Yeah. So let's and get into it. I would say if Thanos never got the 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 gauntlet, right? Do you? He would lose. The gauntlet is what makes him win, right? Well, did you see Endgame? I exactly. That's How what I'm saying. He didn't have the gauntlet at all, and he, and he was but he still lost. wrecking them. But he lost. Oh, he lost. Yeah, because Tony got the gauntlet. So you Again, could say that's he, the right? that's the equalizer, and it, without mm. the gauntlet, the Avengers would have lost. Yeah. So I Josh knows what I'm talking about. No, I I don't I don't see that happening. Oh, and also, okay, here's that. the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, are we going? Or do they have their armies? Like, does Palpatine have his army? Does Thanos have his army? Or is it just? Uh, there? I don't know. What do you say, Josh? Uh, I would say no to level the playing field with Goblin since yeah. he has no army. I'm, I would. <laughs> I would absolutely love to see this. First of all, just like put them all in like like a cage match and see what happens. <laughs> just... <laughs> well, I saw videos that they have mods for the WWE video game <laughs> where yes. you can put these characters in the game. <laughs> oh, oh that's great. and make them fight we'll each other. Do it sometime. Let's do it, <laughs> dude. I would say, I would say, Josh, I'm gonna come at you a little bit. Okay. I would say that the um, the only thing going for Palpatine in battle is his electricity. Wow. I would say Are because you kidding me? I mean yes he you know lightsaber blah 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 but you know what <laughs> I think I think Thanos can can like I'm gonna give you some props Peter. I think he can go to, toe to toe to him with weapons yeah but he's got no strength that's true mm. yeah Palpatine I mean, you gotta have strength go ahead Josh oh I think Palpatine you know he sees Goblin flying his lightsaber will cut right through that armor dude. Mm, if he can catch him, it's true. <laughs> he can catch him. He can catch him well, midair. He, he has the force. Yeah, the force. Is, <laughs> no, there's no force here. <laughs> no. Not in this. Not in this fight. No, 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 no. Level the playing field. Yeah, come All right, on. Guys. We'll level the playing field again. <laughs> no, you can have no force. So I'm no. saying uh, you could probably catch Goblin in midair, choke him out, okay. electrocute him, mm. and then throw his lightsaber and go right <laughs> through his chest, bro. He's okay. done. So, so <laughs> while while Goblin is is being choked, you don't think he's gonna hit the button and get his glider to go right through the back of Palpatine, <laughs> dude? He's yeah. gonna do. He's, he's gonna got he's got bombs. Emperor senses, dude. He'll jump and do a backflip. <laughs> Emperor, <laughs> Emperor senses. Got the Emperor tingle. <laughs> he, he's like, ooh, something's happening. <laughs> the palpy sense. The palpy sense. <laughs> well, the thing, another thing about Emperor Palpatine is he has a contingency plan for every scenario possible. Mm. So he would have seen that coming sure. a mile away. It's like he's playing chess, but he's like five moves ahead. Mm. Okay, mm. so are you are you then saying that you like the fact that Palpatine had a backup plan and that you want him to have more backup plans? So you're affirming the, what they <laughs> Rise did with Skywalker. Palpatine's character? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got what me I'm here. Hearing? Dang it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> back to take it back, take it back, take it back. Take it back, I lose. <laughs> no, no. So, ever since the beginning, he had many contingency plans. He had AIs that were built with robots in case he <laughs> he was <your> killed. <laughs> but what would happen? He he wanted to what he wanted to purge the empire after his death of all the weak leaders. And he mm. and that's why the battle of Jakku happened. He made them all show up and start like fighting each other, destroy each other, like this massive oh, battle. And but he um, that was all manipulation because he was like, <laughs> he it was a battle that he organized after he died. It was just uh with <laughs> droids that droids that had his conscience put into him, and then the you know the rise of Skywalker. They did what they did with their thing. I think there's a way to do it that doesn't take away from Darth Vader's sacrifice in episode mm. six which i felt like they did it was kind of lame but i think that it all to show whether it's good or not i think it shows that he he has like his game plan ahead he's not so proud that he can't mm. think about the possibility of losing which i mm. think both thanos mm. and both goblin mm. is one of their achilles heels they're so proud yeah. they think that they have the win in the bag that they didn't even think about what was going to happen but yep. you also have to remember that Goblin is something of a scientist himself, so he's smart. 
<laughs> Just waiting to use that line. Josh, <laughs> what do you think about Emperor Palpatine? Every time he uses his lightning, he goes out like a punk. <laughs> oh, you got me there that... three times, <laughs> dude. That's true. That is true. That's true, <laughs> bro. There's no windows. There's no windows in this fight. He's that's not gonna true. push anybody out a window with his electricity. <laughs> oh my gosh! And there's no Anakin either, I guess. Dude, your dude, your pick is an old decrepit man who knows how to use electricity. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, wow. it's a good skill. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do think, though, that in Josh's defense, though, like, a great villain has, like, a super strong yes, mental game. It's true. Like, yeah. those are the ones that, like, that freak you out. Like, they may not have, like, even the right. physical strength. Exactly. But if it's a villain that, like, every, what really creeps me out about a villain and what makes one really good, if you ask me, and I don't know that this really applies to Thanos, but, like, every time the hero, like, does something to, like, try and, you know, get back at them or, like, or win or take the you know, the victory back, they, the villain is already two steps ahead mm -hmm. and like, they already knew what they were going to do and it gets even worse for them. Like that, mm -hmm. that, when mm -hmm. that happens in a movie, I'm like, Oh, this is a good villain. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, exactly. It's, true. it's, it's got steps and think about it. Think so, about all the Jedi who, who fought all these wars, who are the, some of the most powerful beings in all the galaxy. He wiped them all out. They're gone. They're done. So it's true. You know, but again, yeah. he did it with his army. But it's true, like he wasn't mm. too proud to know, like I can't take on all of them by myself. Mm. But he built a plan to know how he was gonna do that. I can wipe so. them out. Well, if you if you <clears throat> read the comics, Goblin has clones. Yo, what? He has <laughs> yeah, that he has in place in case he dies or if something happened or to like to do things for him that he knows that he couldn't mm -hmm. like. There was a storyline where he used like clones so that way he would like he could ensure that like he could keep going oh, wow. so he so so the movies don't show that as much but i would argue that if 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 goblin has prior knowledge knowing that he's going up against thanos and he's going up against uh, emperor palpatine he could not only create technology that could help him in this but he also has the 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 mental capacity to to try to anticipate being two steps ahead of somebody who's always two steps ahead. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's true. I mean, I think of the three of them, I think that probably, like, because Palpatine wasn't a, really, like, a villain until he, like, you know, the switch happened, like, in Revenge mm -hmm. of the Sith. So, like, up until that point, like, he had, he was two steps ahead, but, like, the, the you know, the good guys, like, weren't doing anything to, like, try to stop him because they didn't even mm -hmm. know he was there. But I see where Goblin he can he can kind of like be two steps ahead sometimes like when he was like you know in No Way Home like you know hiding there like in Dude, disguise like pretending yes. to be good sort of mm -hmm. yes yeah and and I good. will say even with Thanos just to give you a little bit because I feel like I've defended everyone but your pick Peter because he <laughs> pulls <laughs> um, but I would say like even like Thanos though you gotta look out for is he's quick on his feet like mm. he's not necessarily like two steps ahead of everybody. Mm. But he, he's like when when he's met with something, he can create a plan like so fast. Mm -hmm. Like think about Endgame, like where he figures out like you know that like what had happened in the future, figures out a way oh. to like like dude like he's so he's 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 got a good military mind. Like he mm -hmm. can like when oh something gosh, comes yes. up, his defense can be very quick. So I will give you that, Peter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I think Thanos out of all the villains here has the most clear why. And conviction yeah yeah um yes. the palpatine he's all about just power and dominance uh yeah i was gonna ask you like what is what's palpatine's goal here goal i think it's just the hatred for the <laughs> jedi and the, the hunger funny. for power that so what does he do like in but in the original trilogy like he's already done that you know he's mm -hmm. he's the king he's on top yeah so i just i don't know yeah. like where he's going from there he's the king with uh <laughs> checks and the balances multiverse. Checks and balances. Like, that's that's so epic, dude. <laughs> so he's like, I so just want to, I want to be on top with no checks and balances, you know. But that's I think so it's also the, I mean, there are two religions that hate each other, right? You know, so his whole, his thing, he's like, I want to wipe these guys out. Yeah, you know, and yeah, yeah oh, it's what so are... funny. I I'm just gonna say real quick, what's so funny to me about the original trilogy is when somebody pointed this out to me. They're like. <laughs> 
wow, Palpatine was hiding, like a Sith Lord was hiding underneath the Jedi's noses for like, you know, hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And like, how did, how did, how did he cloak the dark side from, <laughs> from these people that they couldn't detect it? With the dark side. That's how he did it. <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> he was using the dark side to cloak the dark side. Yeah, it's a little a little foggy. The, the logic <laughs> there, I don't know. But <laughs> Bro, I would love one thing is that all these guys can be very convincing. And they can, like, they can convince people not only to, like, like you know, like, join in with their cause but they can give in like uh, like just like have sympathy but they can literally convince people to like change sides and things like that mm. so i would love to see that there was just a point in this battle where they all just like try to convince each other to like no no, jo no no join me no 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 join me <laughs> <laughs> you start arguing <laughs> let's talk I, about that though the the sympathy that these mm. characters create for themselves like yes a good villain i think kind of creates like an emotional yes. you know tug there i would say personally that no villain of these three creates an emotional draw like thanos does mm -hmm. when thanos is about to get the soul stone and he realizes that he's gonna have to sacrifice grimora and she says she's like huh, like you're done you know there's nothing you've ever loved that you can that you can sacrifice and he turns around and there's a tear rolling down <sighs> his cheek and you just realize I heard guys, that tear was played by Danny DeVito by the way <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> but the the theater was dead silent and yeah. I that was of mm. all the moments of that movie that shook me the most because I was like oh my gosh mm. like you know mm. he loves her so and he's still gonna do it imagine mm being being like having a cause that you feel like i need to help the world no, nobody wants to help but you feel like he's like you're on this righteous cause but imagine mm. being tormented by your own mind right like internally that's weak this sauce, is the bro. thing <laughs> <laughs> wait I, what is goblin's like like mission i like i actually don't know Dude, exactly <laughs> okay yeah, and this is what i was going to get do. into this is what i was going to say so <laughs> like, what's his goal? his his goal okay his mission statement. Spider Man. <laughs> What's his mission statement? His yeah. mission statement is this, and his values are. No, no. Um, uh, so he, his goal is chaos. Mm. For the sake of chaos. Very primal. Right. Yes. <laughs> this is the thing too, is that there is no like, oh, I want to conquer this for a heartwarming reason or to make things better, and this is how I view it. It is chaos for the sake of chaos, which, if. In a villain, if we're looking at a, a, a villain, that makes them far worse mm. than because there's no good in them at all. But the good, but the conflict is that the sympathy you feel for Green Goblin is the fact that there's an internal conflict where he is, is, a, is a good guy, a really good guy. Like, like, you know, Harry Osborn was a stand up dude. And we see that especially in No Way Home, like just this like conflict and all these things. But then he has this like. He was like altered by the stuff that he took that made him into this evil, chaotic monster. And there's this fight for like between good and evil, not just going mm. on because, oh, I want my goals to bring, you know, what I think is good, but other people are calling it evil. It is a literal fight between good and evil going on within this guy. And that's where the sympathy comes from. Because think about it, when you watch those movies, you know how hard it was to watch when he's like, like at the end, was he being for real? When he was like, you know, Peter, you know, Peter, don't don't kill me. You know, you don't know because it's this inner conflict of like, you know, what like what is this guy really thinking? Is he actually like mm. it, who's in charge? Is it the goblin or is it or is it is it? Um, I'm sorry, not Harry. Uh, Norman. I called him Harry earlier, but Norman, you know, and there's this inner conflict. Like I'm still confused at times. Like when is it Norman? When is it when is it the Green Goblin? And mm. I think that. That just like just that motive of chaos and there's this internal conflict makes him just so much. There's so much more sympathy that we should have mm -hmm. towards Green Goblin than either of these guys. Well, that was like wow. the whole point of No Way Home, right? Was exactly Peter Parker trying to help him. Yeah, yeah. Like I, mean, I don't feel bad for Thanos. I kind of get like, oh man, like you know, poor guy. The in the sense of like, you know, he lost his daughter, but he's doing it for a cause. Dude, I feel bad for Norman Osmond that he's being held captive by his like by a dark side within him. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, that's true. I feel like Palpatine's got no sympathy. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of this. He's just pure evil. He's a pure embodiment of evil. 
Yeah. But that's why I think he's the greatest villain. Because there's not <laughs> there's no part in the audience that's like, I mean, no, I get it. You know, or like there's yeah. no part in the audience of like I was like, oh dang, well he can't control that, you know. He like I like the only sympathy he gets is from Putin. He's like, oh man, poor guy. <laughs> Putin, I get it, man. I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think, but I think that sets Palpatine apart because, it a good villain, I think rallies the emotion, of just like of the audience that is. One <laughs> that is wanting to this this just destroy you know destroy uh what's it called um this villain and you know yeah. the oh, the audience just wants to get get rid of him you know there's no yeah. you know there's no like oh like it that's I guess I can understand that's why Palpatine maybe isn't like as as three dimensional of a villain as these mm. other two. Yeah, but I think he's more of a like clear cut. Just this is the bad guy. Mm, Vader, yeah. on the other hand, w- the I would say guy. Vader is the one that's more like <laughs> these other two. Mm. Uh, but Palpatine, I think he, that evil part that's inside a goblin, it's Palpatine for Vader. Yeah. Oh well, yes. You know. Mm. And I would say like for not the I'm sorry if I cut you off, but that is kind of present there for Thanos too, is like his arc is you, you sympathize with him in the first movie. And then you realize like in the second, the Avengers did like the one thing that would turn him from this like sympathetic character mm. to like, no, like I'm just going to kill you just because I can, you know? Right. And it, like, and a lot of people said, even I felt like this when I saw it, like, Oh, that kind of ruined Thanos for me. But that was sort of like the point. That was like mm. what the Avengers were trying to do because that was the only situation where like Thanos lost who he was and just became Ooh. like this you know, embodiment of evil wow. that wow. Like, he, you know, slips up. And that's so, like the one in a four billion scenarios yeah. that he lost was yeah. when he lost himself. Yeah. Yep, wow. he lost gotta, himself. Gotta lose yourself in the music. I really had to do some some <laughs> prayer on that lost. one. To, <laughs> some <to> prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Say this is very deep. We're like, <laughs> we're really making cases for these guys of how terrible yes. they are. <laughs> yes. Why they're the worst. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think, but I think it's good if they have an arc though, because I would say, oh, yeah. like Palpatine, like he doesn't have. I'm not like bashing him as a villain, but because I love Palpatine too. But I don't think he has much of like an arc. Especially if you look at the whole Skywalker saga. Yeah. Um, like, I'm bad. But like, I'm bad. He's just, but he's like, in that, he's like bad the whole time. But it's the same with like, I would say the Joker, like, for if I had to draft someone else, I would say the Joker is like probably the next in line, the best villain of all time. He doesn't have really an, like a, an arc either. He's just bad. Mm-hmm. He's like evil just the whole time. Well, and eventually. And loses. that's a big quote from Dark Knight. Some men just want to watch the world burn. They don't yeah. need a motivation, you know. Yeah, okay, it's let's like a just, dog chasing let's cars. Just, mm. Let's just all acknowledge that that that's an honorable mention. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker. Is, is, we're all here because yeah. of the Joker. Let's just be honest. <laughs> 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 he he Thank you, he Heath. walked he walked so these guys could run. That's all I'm saying. So true. <laughs> that's Table all I'm saying. So, <laughs> so we're gonna let the peelers. Uh, any last comments? Yes, we... I. All right. Um. So, gentlemen, I would like to imagine. I would like you to imagine. He's got the ha- he's holding the hammer in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna let it loose. <laughs> yeah. I would like you to imagine a world. Imagine three different scenarios. Okay. For you, Peter, your your family is locked in a house or in a room. Okay. Or for you, Josh, Skyler really is locked, wow. locked, oh locked gosh, in a room. Oh my making things personal. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> this is, maybe I'm the villain. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, but imagine, imagine your, your family. Your okay, no, Josh. imagine your family is locked in a room with Thanos, right? And there's no way to get them out. And, and right, okay, Or locked in a room with the Emperor. Or locked in a room with Goblin. Hmm. Which scenario do you feel you're going to obviously be upset? But which scenario do you feel most confident that they won't be harmed? Or or let me mm. ask this, which com- which which scenario are you most scared about? Be honest. Uh I feel like it would any of those situations would just be awkward. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> uh, what I guess I'm going to kill you. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because this is with Palpatine. I'm a bad guy. He doesn't really cold, like, kill people in cold blood too often, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thanos? 
I mean, you know, maybe he'll like try to con- you know convince them to like. But he might just try not to gonna... kill half of them. Maybe. You know, that's kind of his <laughs> oh thing. No, seriously, like that's yeah, what he would do. It's kind maybe, of his thing. Yes, but I would s- I would argue that that the scariest scenario is Green Goblin because he's the most chaotic for no reason. Hmm. I would say that if you had to, if like that would be the one that each of us would be most scared about, that all the peelers would be most scared about. <laughs> about if you saw these guys in a dark alley, who would you be most scared to see? Thanos, the Emperor, or Green Goblin? All right, all right, sit down, John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you said your piece. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And also, I'd like I, to point I out. I see what you're saying. I would like to point out. I did put up a poll. Right after No Way Home came out, and like uh, between Thanos and, and Goblin, like 70% what? of people said Goblin. Where wow, wow. Yes. So, is there so, going to be a so poll for the, the audience to choose from? There is. There is. John always does this. You know, you can't do like a three way poll on Instagram. Oh, so you can now. Like the, oh, you can? Yeah, now they, they oh, update. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay. It's not, it's not like that one is the correct answer thing anymore. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. Yes. So you would always make your answer the, per- the right answer. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Say, there's no right answer. No, I... If you chose, <laughs> if you chose, no, your, I if chose did... John's, it would turn green. <laughs> no, I I did that once. I, I, I was fair. I was fair. Uh, although Perfectly I, I, balanced, although, as all things yeah, should be. All, I, although I'm not going to lie. I really wanted to make my own the right answer, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You gentlemen, are you ready to say some thank yous? Mm. Ready as I'll ever mm. be. Me too. I would like to say thank you to Josh for finally admitting his love for Rise of the Skywalker uh, and just his affirmations of Lucasfilms currently. Mm. (laughs) I would like to thank uh, both of you guys because... Ah, shoot, what was I going to (laughs) say? Because this podcast did put a smile on my face. Oh, that's Uh... good. That's good. Oh. Well, I'd like to thank you both for giving me the honor to join the weekly peel this week. Hopefully, it's not the last. <laughs> Depends on these thank yous go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I would like to thank Willem the Goat for scarring not only one but two generations of young Spider-Man fans. Mm. I would like to uh, thank Danny DeVito for being that teardrop <laughs> in Thanos' eye mm. when he saw Gamora. Oh. <laughs> I, I also would like to thank Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Do you have a reason? <laughs> no, it's just for being himself. He, he, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good. No. Um, I, I, is it me again? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would like to thank this podcast for being way more serious than I anticipated <laughs> because we really dove into the philosophies of these mm. great, terrible men. And I would like to thank uh, Paramount Plus for being oh, awful. Gosh. And I'd like to thank all of our peelers, and we'll see you next week. Woo!